Yeah, this is Bronco Bob, and I got a little video here for Ron showing the operation on the 29 Essex. It has a billet steering column, so your tilt wheel, need both hands right there, your tilt wheel is right here. Underneath the, uh, the dash, you'll see a couple of red buttons. The one on the left pops the uh, driver's side door. The one on the right pops the uh, passenger door. You got your headlight switch right here, your parking lights and your running lights. Up here you've got your indicator lights for your uh, blinkers. I'm going to turn the flashers on, but you can see the flashers working right there. You got your speedometer. In fact, here's the button right here for the uh, four-way flashers. In the center of the uh, console underneath you have three switches. The one on the left turns the cooling fan on for the radiator. The one on the right does the transmission cooler. And the one in the center, honestly, I haven't figured out what it does. But hopefully, I'll have one of my guys trace the wires and we'll try to see what it connects to. Um, over here, you got a little vent, but there's nothing hooked up. It just keeps the, uh, the dash balanced. And this button right here, you pull out, it's a headlight switch, but it's got one on this side. I don't know if they just mounted one to make them make it all look good. But you got your parking brake right here, your shifter, you push down with your thumb, the, uh, the gas pedal, the brake, and then you can see the uh, fuse block, the wiring harness. Um, over here by the driver's seat is a little cable that you pull, and when you pull the cable, I'll show you what happens, it pops up the, the gas door. And then on the back to open the rumble seat, Basically, right here at the back, you just kind of press your hand, and you can see it lift up. Just take it and pull it up. And it does have a latch right here, and there is a cable under the seat, in the middle of the seat. It's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can get a, a fix on it. But in the middle, there's a little plunger that actuates that latch, and I had some problems with that latch sticking. So I've left it in the unlatched position, and I haven't haven't had any problems opening and closing uh, the rumble seat. It rides it rides just fine like that. Um, and the buttons are on the driver's side for the doors because you certainly don't want somebody to push those buttons while you're traveling traveling down the highway. These are your turn signals. Of course, your headlights. It's got a dipstick here for the transmission fluid, and over on this side is the uh, oil dipstick right here. This little rubber grommet here, sometimes when you get on it, that grommet's not in there real good and a little bit of oil will come out of that breather neck. I wouldn't be alarmed, it probably just needs a, a rubber grommet. But if you have any other questions, feel free to call me. I'm 817-946-7500. And this is Bob Lukey with American Motorcycle Trading Company, Arlington, Texas. And this is a 1929 Essex. But thanks for your time. Thanks for looking. And as I told you, Ron, I'm going to also write everything down on a piece of paper so you'll have, have it in print as well as this video. But she's a cool car. Have a great day.